Hey guys, this is HundredTube back again, and today we are here with another review. And I know what you guys are thinking. Hey, I thought your next review was going to be on that Thomas Wood Timmy Sheds. Well, it was until today. Well, technically yesterday, because I'll be uploading this tomorrow, basically, on Monday. So... We were at Walmart, and then I found a three-pack of minis with uh, Ashima, Rainbow, Rosie, and uh, it was Sushi Diesel. And I also found this. I found it. I found the Trackmaster Push Along, everyone. And today we'll be looking at Rebecca. Trademark. I know, I know, I said I wouldn't get this character, but I got her just to see what the range is like before I get all the characters that I really want to get. So, yeah, it says Push Long, there's her promo picture, Metal Engine, it's right there, and it's three to seven years up. And here's the back, and then also available is Flynn, James, and Merlin. And there was like one Flynn, one James, and one Merlin at Walmart. There were two Rebecca's in between that one Flynn, that one James, and that one Merlin. I decided to get Rebecca out of the ones that were there. And then... Up here it says that the push long and the motorized engines work on track master track. We'll see if that's true. Then we have the track master logo saying it's a metal engine. We'll also see if that is true. Because when I look at it from outside this packaging, it looks plasticky except for the roof. Yeah. So, yeah. Now let's get to opening Rebecca. Getting her out of her plastic packaging. Alrighty, everyone. It's time for the moment of truth. Here she comes. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, you guys. Guys. I was right. I have bad feelings about this. Guys, what you're about to hear is the truth. The only metal piece on this engine here is this roof. The rest of the engine is complete plastic. What a joke, Mattel. You make your range say it's metal, and the only metal is this roof. Good going, Mattel. You ruined the diecast range literally completely. The entire engine is complete plastic. Good going, Mattel. You ruined the range completely. And this, Mattel, is what you get for ruining Trimaster Push Long. But before I continue with this review, it might just be Rebecca that's like this. The others might be completely metal, except for Flynn. Yeah, Flynn might be the only one who is also complete plastic. So, either way, on with the review. Let's take a closer look at Rebecca's front. So yeah, here's the front, here's her face, she has a little lamp up here, here's her buffers and stuff, of course they're not painted, and here's the side, and her number 22, and her dots, and that window's not painted, sadly. And then here's her nameplate. This is Rebecca. Her spaced out wheels. Her number 22. I think I mentioned that. Her back. Nothing special. And that. Here's her other side. Of her completely plastic body. Oh, and also this dips in. And it dips out wider towards the back. 
That's kind of cool. It does it on both sides. Then here's the only metal piece of this engine. The top. And it actually has more detail than the uh, motorized Rebecca. See, it has... They both have the funnel. But this one actually has whistle detail. This one doesn't. So yeah, that was the front of Rebecca. Now let's move on to her tender. So yeah, it's a very squashed tender. And there are buffers on this side instead of this side. That's a nitpick. And there's a side, it says NWR, front. Trap mastery coupling, the other side, the back, and bad coupling, and yeah, here's the top. Also, it's the same with the push long tender. The push long tender has more details than the track master one. This part is entirely blue along with the cylinders. Unlike this one, they only made that bit blue, and the rest is yellow. This tender is more accurate to the show than this one. I might use this one in my show series for like, as little snippets, but I might keep using the Trapmaster one. Or I might do this Trapmaster with push along tender, which looks way more realistic, if you ask me. Way more realistic. That looks. Way more realistic. This is how the pack should have been. That is how the Trap Master pack should have been. But yeah, that was the tender on the, the front. So yeah, that was the look around of her. Now we're going to test her on a few track systems. First, we're going to start off with the obvious one, which is Trap Master 2, of course. And let's see... Yeah, she fits. She does fit. She fits on there nice and smoothly. Then we can couple her up to Trapmaster Rebecca. And they can go for a ride. Now we're going to try her on some classic Trackmaster track. And she fits on that too. Though she doesn't look quite right on it. And we're going to see if she can couple up to a classic Trackmaster engine. Oh, she can. We used Gabe here and... They can now set off on an adventure. Now, the next track that we are going to try her on is Tommy Track. So, let's plop her on. Oh, yeah, she runs smoothly. Very smoothly. Much better than a motorized Trackmaster 2 engine. We now have Trackmaster 2 engines that work on Tommy Track. Woo! And just for a bit of testing, we're going to see if she can couple up to a Tommy engine. going to use Harvey's coach. Oh. Oh, she coupled up. And she can go. Now, the next track we are going to try is Thomas Wood. See if she fits on that. And she does. She fits on Thomas Wood track. Woo! Now we are going to try her on Wooden Railway slash other wooden track. And she works on that too, like a charm. And now we are going to try what everyone wants to do with their push-along engines. 
and put them on their adventures truck. Let's see if it works. And she fits. She fits on every brand of track. It's a miracle. It's the first ever piece of Thomas merchandise that works on every type of track there is to exist in the Thomas merchandise. Well, except my first Thomas because no one really cares about that. So yeah. The push along track masters are the first engines to work on every single brand of track. But wait, what about Minnie's track? No, she's too big. She can't fit. But no one really cares about the Minnie's track. So yeah, now that we saw what tracks she works on, we're going to give her the final rating. So, my rating on the track master push along Rebecca is a 9.5 out of 10. It's not perfect because if it were perfect, I would want it to have more metal. That's the only nitpick. It needs more metal. Because the entire body is made of plastic as well as the tender. The only thing that is metal is this roof. I mean, good going, Mattel. You ruined a really good item, I say. So yeah, I'm only giving it a 9.5 because it works on every single track range. And it also has lots of good details. So yeah, that was the look at and rating. Now we're going to give her a run around every single merchandise track layout. In three, two, one, go! works.
so there was your run, folks. And so, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this review of the Trap Master Push Long Rebecca. And I'll probably get some more Push Long characters in the future. I, of course, will. Just to see if they're fully plastic. Because we want them to com be completely metal, okay, Mattel? Not plastic with metal tops. That's just cheap and wrong and ruining your toy range. So, yeah. Either way, this is HunterTube saying thanks for watching. And bye for now. And my next video will probably be a side-by-side -side comparison remake of one of my Trackmaster remakes.